Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer are two of the best-selling manga and greatest successes of the new decade. And ignoring any discussion about the actual quality of them, their popularity has affected the state of new manga, especially new Shonen Jump manga. Since Burdam exploded in popularity, there have been numerous battle manga in the pages of the magazine seemingly trying to capture the new craze of fighting demons and curses and being exorcists of some kind. Bone Collection, Doron Dororon, Ayakashi Triangle, Phantom Seer, Red Wood, Ayashimon, News Exorcist, Kagura Bachi, Fabrican 100, I Said Gil. More manga than not are tackling these topics with various degrees of success and uniqueness. It'd be disingenuous to call all of them ripoffs, not all of them feel like derivatives of the other two manga, and honestly feel very different and unique even in a saturated market. One of these that really managed to capture an audience, at least in the West, was Phantom Seer, which Contrary to rumors spread by certain Naruto YouTubers, I didn't cancel it myself using my powers over Jump's editor-in-chief. Normally I use those powers for other things, like make me and Roboku have more color pages. The bottom line is that the manga got cancelled, and a lot of people were left dissatisfied and wanting more. But finally, there's a series for those fans, so my QB, this one's for you. Shadow Eliminators, or Rurui Senki, for people who didn't like the translated name, which a lot didn't is the story of Yahoi Asakaze and Aoba Kuromori. Both of them really want to help people, but the way they go about it is very different, and the first bulk of this chapter is all about highlighting that difference. Asakaze values justice and respecting the rules and people a lot. The manga starts with him blocking a kid from entering the school because he was really, really late. Most students think that Asakaze is a pain in the butt. Kuromori, on the contrary, not only arrives late in his first day, but he appears without his uniform and completely wet. Turns out that he fell into the water while trying to catch an handkerchief from one of his classmates. While talking to Asakaze, he's also quick to jump out of the scene and randomly help people, like grabbing a purse from a teacher that was thrown up to a tree by a student, or saving a girl from being possessed by another worldly creature. Yeah. Turns out Kuromori is a bit of an exorcist, and is in this school because the city has become a beacon for these creatures they call Hollows. He's also there with Rama, who claims that Asakaze has the predisposition. This was never elaborated in the chapter. I assume it means that he can see the Hollows while most people can't. What is elaborated, however, is that negative thoughts attract the weird, um, dread-like things that we see before, and then, if left to grow, creates a Kasane. So, right from the get-go, we got Hollows, Treads and Kasanas, which I think is a bit confusing, but before we even have the time to absorb any of the world building, we get the final creature, the Kasane, as Asakaze finds that the teacher they helped before was being bullied, and it seems like the negative thoughts created the monster. After a conversation about justice and its meaning between the two of them, Kuromori interferes and the final battle finally starts. Kuromori summons a monster that we don't get to know much about and attacks Kasane with a sword that only destroys the Kasane, not the human being that it's controlling. With that fight done, the final pages are dedicated for a hint of what to expect of this manga going forward, as the duo creates a group called Shadow Eliminators, one whose goal is to help the students by destroying their kasane and also help with their negative thoughts and emotions. And that makes this one of those manga that only really starts by chapter 2. This feels very much like just introducing the building blocks. These are the characters, these are the monsters and the world building, there's not a lot more to it here. It's honestly a hard chapter to judge because I don't really feel about it one way or the other. It's not a generic bad battle shonen that I could just say that it sucks, it's gonna get cancelled. But on the other hand, I can't say I really cared too much. It was fine, sure, but am I excited to read the next chapter? No, I'm not. The world building feels a little bit confusing right now while also not being really complex or unique. The next chapter is really neat to streamline or at least solidify exactly what a hollow is and what is the difference between Hit and a Kasane if there is one. Also, what's the role of Asakaze? This is a battle shonen, the dude's only power is to see the other dude fight. It's not like I dislike the character or anything, it's just that I don't see what he can bring to the table. It seems like this is very much a Kuromori story. But while I do actually think that there's at least a potential for an interesting duo between the two, we didn't really got that, because as soon as I started interacting, the manga shifted into the monsters and creatures, which, by the way, really felt like it came out of the left field. Like, of course you know it's gonna appear, you understand what kind of story it is before you even start reading, but they're just talking and suddenly Kuromori just turns around and starts binding a thread with his grandma. And after that is explained, we get a bit of... Uh, 
not really that interesting flashback, before we automatically have to deal with the other monster that was just into it. And then the fight is... it's not interesting. When I think of battle shounens like Shadow Limiters, I think of Phantom Seer and Muyun Roji, and what both of them have in common is that their fights really aren't that amazing, but they don't really need to be, as the thing that sells you into the fights are the creatures that appear, both the enemies and the monsters summoned by the main characters. We often have these big panels showing off these grotesque, visually interesting creatures. With Shadow Eliminators following not only the same genre and team, but also the same kind of monster summoning power, I would expect it to also follow this rule, I think it would be interesting for the manga. Just show us the creatures in detail, in big, let them make an impact. Because I don't feel like that happens. With the exception of the quite boring threads that got a decent sized panel showing them off, the actual big bad, the Kasane, doesn't get the same treatment. It's shown, sure, the creature looks well drawn and has interesting design, also sure, but it lacks any impact because there's not at any point a decent panel dedicated to just showing off this creature. It's just there. And the same can be said about the monster that Kuromori summons. We don't really even get to see it in action. The monsters are buried in the paneling and the need for more info dump, but it's not like that's replaced by any interesting choreography or storytelling. And I feel like that's sad because the art of the manga is really good and there's good paneling here and interesting visuals, so there most definitely is the capability from the author to do this, they, but they just don't. I hope that changes in the following chapters. As for if I think the manga survive, it's not like I think it's bad, but let's be honest. This is a step down for Phantom Seer, and that one didn't survive. Not only that, but currently News Exorcist is actually doing pretty well, and it also covers the same topic and genre. Is New better than Shadow Eliminators? No, but sadly I don't think that'll matter. The manga is doing well and there's no chance both of them are gonna survive in a magazine. And if there's a lot of people already attaching to new, I don't see themselves changing teams right now. So, no, I don't think Shadow Eliminators has a good chance of survival, but we'll see. If you want to know more about the previous manga to batch, the Golf Manga Green Green Greens, then click the video on the left. And if you like to keep up to date with the new Jump series as they come out, then consider subscribing. And if you are still here, thank you very much, and I'll see you next video.